the rest of the story. The lighthouse was doomed from the start, seafarers said. Fourteen miles from land, leaning into the region's wildest winds, made of mere wood, it was only a matter of time before she toppled into the English Channel. And it came to pass. During one mighty storm in 1703, Eddy Stone Lighthouse vanished into the darkness. Her architect, Henry Winstanley, was swept away with her. The task of redesigning and rebuilding her fell to one John Rudyard, and he had her beacon blazing again by 1709. Sturdier than her previous incarnation, made of oak and iron, she stood nearly 47 years against the Channel Gales off the coast of Cornwall. It was a fire that took her down in 1755. And still in folk ballads, and seaman's lore. The saga of Eddystone Lighthouse lives on. But has anyone before this moment ever sung <laughs> the rest of the story? You see, English engineer John Smeaton was designated re-rebuilder of Eddystone Lighthouse. And the challenge of creating a tall, permanent structure to withstand such intimidating conditions greatly perplexed him. For while the lighthouse beacon itself threatened a conflagration from within... The raging elements would hammer night and day of the tower walls. It would be impossible, many warned, to build an enduring edifice for any such purpose in such a place. So, John Smeaton looked around for an architectural example that he might follow for something not only fireproof but windproof and waterproof, and eventually he found it. But the problem was the architect of that exemplary building was dead, and nobody remembered the formula for its durability. Well... Mr. Smeaton, the master engineer, began experimenting with materials, subjecting them to physical abuse and flames and salt water and fresh water, and for the months that followed, his office looked much like a mad scientist's laboratory. And then, Eureka! 1759 construction of the new and immeasurably improved Eddystone Lighthouse was completed, and the improvement bore the test of time. 123 years! It loomed 20 fathoms above the channel, defying wind and wave, and when in 1882 it was replaced by a more modern structure, it was for modernity's sake alone. For the building to which John Smeaton looked for inspiration, the durable, indomitable temple, whose cryptic construction formula he rediscovered and applied to Eddystone Lighthouse, was the Pantheon of Rome, built by the Emperor Hadrian in the 2nd century A.D. For you see, the secret of the Pantheon's virtual indestructibility was lost during the Middle Ages, may have remained lost forever, had it not been for John Smeaton, who tried and erred and tried again until he had retrieved it from utter obscurity. Indeed, Smeaton's lighthouse was assembled with interlocking stones based on a plan which revolutionized the construction of such towers for years thereafter. For the real wonder of it all, the Eddystone miracle, the rediscovered substance, which revolutionized construction everywhere from that day to this, was the stuff that held ancient Rome together, only to be forgotten, and then to be reborn. Hydraulic cement, created from clay-heavy limestone, making possible a ubiquitous little something we now call concrete. Only, now you know the rest of the story. <laughs>